This is my John Steed Thunderbird inspired puppet. Um, it's a project I've been working on for quite a number of years on and off. I'd sort of do a little bit of him and then put him aside and go on to something else. Um, but I finally got him finished. He's a, um, a marionette, so he's worked by strings. And he has a controller. You can sort of make him move. Obviously I'm not actually very good at manipulating these things, but basically he's a fairly well articulated little marionette puppet. Um, the other thing he does is he talks and he moves. Um, basically I've got his, his head sorted out with um, some electronics and some electromagnets and a servo and we can um, make him move. So his eyes move, which may be a little bit hard to see on this, this small video, but uh, he moves and he also talks. No, I'll be up two or three days. Oh, that is if you can find a room for me. I suppose this mythical device has been placed somewhere near a town, let's say, uh, beautiful surroundings. Oh, he took the early train out of here. Basically, I'm um, sampling a whole lot of steedisms from out of the uh, the Avengers episode from the 60s and in the base of him I have a uh, an Arduino running a, a wave shield board and I basically just put all the samples on the wave shield and then randomly play them. Um, to control them I have a small remote control which uh, moves his eyes backwards and forwards as well as making him talk. Um, he's also a bit shy, so he doesn't like people getting too close to him. If you do try to get too close, he gets upset at you. Um, I also have to control him another remote control, which is built into this little watch. Um, I got the idea from this uh, for this from a one of the episodes where the uh, the villain for the week is a um, a ventriloquist who's falling these women into into murdering people and he does it all through a puppet uh, which he actually controls through a, a remote control watch so I can do the same with Steed all the same I think I better have a look don't you we can uh, have a bit of a closer look at him so if I lift the camera up so basically he's he's made from uh, fiberglass and wood so the head is all fiberglass uh, the the bowler hat is fiberglass and uh, the body is fiberglass but the the arms and the legs are all wood and they're all jointed in the right places uh, his umbrella is just handmade as well his uh, oops he's dropped his umbrella uh, his hands are made out of that modeling plastic that you uh, you put in the oven and it hardens. So this is Steed. I uh, sewed up the, the clothes. The trousers were actually made by someone else and she also actually made the the jacket for me but the jacket she made um, wasn't flexible enough and so his his joints wouldn't wouldn't move because of the way the jacket was made. He couldn't lift his arms higher than about here so I actually had to remake the jacket myself which was interesting because I don't really know how to sew. I sort of worked it out as I went along. And it took me about three or four attempts, but in the end I managed to um, to, to make the little, the little jacket and fit that on them. So down here we have a button which makes him talk. And where have all the people gone? Basically when he speaks he... <laughs> I just didn't sleep. I thought I might have a nightcap. Huh? He randomly moves his eyes. And, um, Are strangers they allowed in and out? I think I'll take a look at the airfield. He opens and closes his <laughs> mouth. I just couldn't sleep. I thought I might have a nightcap. Hmm? Um, down here, the little, the little red window is actually the, the distance sensor, which I use to make him scream if anyone gets too close. So. <coughs> Up the top here, we have his controller. Uh, it's just a sort of T-bar type controller. Um, you also 
Well, it's a bit hard to see, but you may notice behind here there is actually a picture of Steed. Um, and that's signed up here, which is a little bit hard to see, by Patrick McNee, who is actually the actor who played Steed in the 60s. Um, I took the photo and sent it to him, and he was kind enough to sign it for me. Um, the, the actual inscription says, From Steed to Little Steed, Patrick McNee. So, basically Steed's sitting on a, a wooden stand. Now, if we carefully move him out of the way, inside here you can see the electronics. So, there's a, um, a speaker and a sensor, and in the front there is the, the wave shield, and behind it is a, a standalone Arduino board. So what I usually do is, is prototype these things up using a, a real Arduino and then just make my own board for them. Um, that all just basically lives underneath them. So we sit him back there. And that's basically him. As I say, this project took me years to do. Um, I think I started maybe four or five years ago. And uh, it's taken a little while to get him finished. but. There he is. So we can wave goodbye, Steve. And that's it.